For years, Plug Power positioned itself as one of the most ambitious companies in the global hydrogen race. A vertically integrated giant determined to build everything. Electrolyzers, hydrogen production plants, liquefiers, trucking systems, and fueling stations. It was a bold vision, almost impossible in scale, rooted in a belief that the green hydrogen economy would rise faster than anyone expected. But 2024 and 2025 revealed an uncomfortable truth. The hydrogen market wasn't scaling evenly. Demand was real, technology was advancing, and gigawatt-scale electrolyzer orders were emerging. But the economics of hydrogen fuel production were slower and more complex than anticipated. And in this moment of sober clarity, Plug Power made a move that shocked analysts, investors, and even competitors. A dramatic strategic shift that would reshape the company's future and position it for profitability by 2028. This shift is more than a financial recalibration. It is a sign of a maturing hydrogen industry, learning from the hard lessons of early markets, and a signal that Plug Power is preparing for the next 10 years with precision rather than ambition alone. To understand the magnitude of this pivot, we first need to understand Plug Power's original strategy. The company wanted to be everything at once, the Tesla of electrolyzers, the shell of hydrogen production, the air liquid of hydrogen logistics, and the Exxon Mobil of hydrogen distribution. It planned to own massive plants, produce hydrogen at scale, liquefy it, distribute it, and fuel thousands of trucks, forklifts, and industrial vehicles. For a while, this vision captured global attention. Government partnerships surged, industrial offtake agreements lined up, and analysts projected large-scale revenues in an emerging trillion-dollar market. But the cost of this full-stack hydrogen empire was enormous. Building green hydrogen plants requires billions in capital. Permitting can take years. Electricity prices are volatile, equipment needs redundancy, engineering complexity is high, and federal incentives, while strong, still require careful timing and compliance. In short, Plug Power was chasing vertical integration in a market that wasn't yet ready for it. This is where the turning point begins. By late 2024, the cracks in the strategy were visible. Market conditions tightened. Cash flow became strained. Hydrogen offtake volumes grew slower than expected. And building, owning, and operating multiple hydrogen production plants simultaneously began to look less like a strategic advantage and more like a financial drag. Plug Power needed a new direction, one that leveraged its strengths without dragging the entire weight of early market risk. When the company's new leadership team stepped in, they made the bold decision to pivot away from being a hydrogen fuel producer and refocus the company on what it could scale profitably. Electrolyzer manufacturing, modular system sales, technology licensing, and international hardware deployment. Instead of being a hydrogen utility, Plug Power would become the global supplier powering hydrogen utilities. This is where the hook becomes powerful. Plug Power isn't shrinking. It's evolving into the NVIDIA of the hydrogen economy. Just as NVIDIA supplies the chips that power AI but does not run the AI companies themselves, Plug Power is repositioning itself to supply the electrolyzers that power global hydrogen production without absorbing the enormous financial risk of owning the production plants. It is a strategy of specialization, scale, and focus. And if executed correctly, it may be the most important strategic pivot Plug Power has ever made. The logic is strong. Electrolyzer demand is exploding worldwide as governments launch gigawatt-scale hydrogen strategies. In the EU, entire hydrogen valleys require electrolyzer capacity. In the Middle East, Enium, Oman, and the UAE are building colossal green hydrogen export projects. India has committed billions to domestic electrolyzer manufacturing. The United States, through the Inflation Reduction Act and hydrogen hubs, is pushing for local electrolyzer supply chains. Everywhere, the same trend emerges. Hydrogen production plants need electrolyzers, and they need them fast. Instead of spending billions to build plants, Plug Power can generate revenue supplying the core hardware for those plants. A perfect example of this transition is Plug Power's 1GW electrolyzer deal with H2 Energy Europe. This is the largest electrolyzer contract Plug Power has ever secured 
and importantly, Plug is not building the hydrogen plant itself. It is supplying the technology while the developer, investors, and local government handle the production, electricity procurement, permitting, and infrastructure. This is a low-risk, high-impact strategy for Plug Power. The company gets paid for the hardware, retains technical influence, and avoids the capital drain of owning and operating the plant. It's the model that companies like Siemens, Vestas, Mitsubishi, and GE mastered decades ago in the wind and gas turbine industries, make the equipment, not the plant. The Under the new strategy, Plug Power becomes a technology provider, not a hydrogen utility. The company focuses on scaling manufacturing, reducing costs, improving stack durability, optimizing balance of plant systems, and shipping modular electrolyzer units that developers can integrate quickly into their projects. This is where Plug Power's expertise shines. The company has invested heavily in electrolyzer research, gigascale manufacturing facilities, and stack optimization. When Plug focuses purely on electrolyzer commercialization, its value proposition strengthens. It becomes the go-to supplier for developers racing to meet green hydrogen demand. But here is the bigger story unfolding, the emergence of the modular electrolyzer revolution. Hydrogen plants used to be massive, custom engineering projects requiring years of design and permitting. Now, developers want factory-built, modular, pre-assembled electrolyzer packages that can be shipped, installed, and scaled like building blocks. A single 10-megawatt module today might become a 100-megawatt system tomorrow, or a 1-gigawatt plant in five years. This is exactly the direction Plug Power has moved into. Instead of building entire plants, it builds modules. Instead of buying land, it builds hardware. Instead of seeking permits, it seeks purchase orders. And the market is responding. In Europe, the Plug Power electrolyzers are being integrated into green ammonia projects, hydrogen valleys, industrial decarbonization programs, and steelmaking initiatives. In the United States, they are powering hydrogen hubs and private fleet infrastructure developments. In Asia, they are being considered for port operations, marine bunkering, and industrial corridors. Plug Power's shift aligns perfectly with how hydrogen demand is actually scaling, fast, modular, and distributed. Critics argue that the pivot signals weakness, that Plug Power is abandoning its original vision because it couldn't achieve it. But this interpretation misses the transformation happening across the entire energy sector. Even the biggest players in hydrogen, like Nell Asa, Siemens Energy, Air Liquide, and ThyssenKrupp Nuktra, have learned that the profitable part of the industry today is not hydrogen production. It is electrolyzer manufacturing, balance of plant engineering, and system integration. The companies that will make the most money in the next five years are the companies selling the hardware, not those spending billions on early stage fuel production. And there is another strategic advantage to Plug Power's pivot, flexibility. When your business is hardware, you can operate globally, diversify your customer base, enter new regions rapidly, and adjust your product lines to meet emerging standards. You can supply utilities, industrial companies, hydrogen hubs, energy ministries, and private developers. You can scale revenue without scaling debt. You can become a foundational supplier rather than a speculative bet. This is the essence of Plug Power's new strategy. Fewer giant bets, more repeatable sales. Fewer multi-billion dollar risks, more multi-megawatt shipments. It is the shift from empire building to ecosystem building. And this is why analysts now see Plug Power's path to profitability as realistic for the first time in years. But the most compelling chapter of this story lies ahead. If Plug Power becomes the leading global supplier of modular electrolyzer systems, it will also shape the growth of the entire green hydrogen market. When developers choose Plug systems, they design their plants around Plug's technology. They build long-term service agreements, they commit to future stack replacements, upgrades, expansions, and technical partnerships. This creates recurring revenue for Plug Power year after year, project after project. The hydrogen market will eventually become massive. By 2040, analysts expect global hydrogen demand to multiply 5x to 7x. 
But the companies that win the early 2030s are the ones that position themselves now with the right strategy. Plug Power's pivot is not a retreat from ambition. It is a repositioning to surf the biggest wave of hydrogen growth, rather than trying to paddle upstream. This pivot also opens the door for a stronger financial position. As Plug Power moves away from being a capital-heavy developer, its balance sheet becomes cleaner. Debt pressures ease, manufacturing scaling becomes predictable, revenues become steadier, and investors start to see Plug Power not as a cash-consuming R&D project, but as a technology supplier with global reach and rising demand. So, what does this mean for the future? It means Plug Power is focusing on the part of the market that scales fastest. It means it has a clear roadmap to profitability. It means the company is now aligned with the global hydrogen ecosystem, not trying to build the ecosystem itself. And it means that in the one gigawatts global hydrogen race, Plug Power is positioning itself as a top contender, not by owning the racetrack, but by supplying the engines. Before this video ends, one more point deserves attention. If you are a developer, consultant, investor, or engineer entering the hydrogen industry, understanding these shifts gives you a competitive edge. The companies that survive and dominate hydrogen's next decade are not those with the biggest dreams. They are those with the smartest strategies. And if you want tools, templates, feasibility models, electrolyzer planning sheets, and development guidance to build real hydrogen projects, visit h2hub.reneenergy.com where you can access the same frameworks used by professionals worldwide. Because just like plug power, you need the right strategy to win in the decade of green hydrogen.